Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're all having a really marvelous Monday thus far. I hope you're all doing really great. And so I'm here with the latest in terms of what is happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas. And so, uh, of course, we'll be taking a look at the current activity within the region, the rainfall expected. And we'll also be talking about the Gulf of Mexico because there is quite some activity there as well. So before I go into detail, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update okay and so as we return to this satellite imagery here we can definitely see that there is quite some activity some in some areas so over in the eastern caribbean specifically for the southeastern caribbean uh there is definitely less activity compared to what was there yesterday so there is some improved weather conditions however we can still see that there is a huge cloud cluster in the region and further down in the vicinity of french guiana and suriname we see all of that convective activity taking place so still some cloudy conditions more rainfall uh, activity is expected as we head throughout today we're going to look at those maps that the different models are showing very shortly but as for the rest of the region for the leeward isles maybe occasional passing clouds nothing much uh sunshine beautiful sunshine for puerto rico the virgin islands most of hispaniola as well as sections of cuba and jamaica things are looking to be a little bit cloudy in the cayman islands but that little uh, patch of clouds is moving away over into central america in the vicinity of belize not seeing much beautiful sunshine same story for guatemala seeing some thunderstorms just off uh just near the coast of el salvador going to honduras nicaragua we're seeing that there isn't much going on same story going down to costa rica and then maybe a little bit of cloudy conditions for panama and then of course uh for northern south america venezuela and colombia there is some activity a little bit of activity moving off those countries into the vicinity of the abc islands but now let's go back over to the gulf there we have all of that convective activity taking place and a new blob of convection lots of showers thunderstorms within this area here and even some strong winds as well so uh, all this activity let's take a closer look here and so all of this activity is making its way inland of uh, mexico and so this will likely bring with it as i said a lot of rainfall those strong winds and thunderstorm activity so i hope that everyone there is going to be okay because even a short period of very heavy rainfall for just long enough can induce some flash flooding especially in those flood prone areas so i hope that everyone there is doing okay though this is not expected to be a persistent uh system and so as we look at this map here we can see how quickly this thunderstorm activity where we have those whites that the thunderstorm activity being developed how quickly that is making its way to the east now that is the result of the wind shear so the wind shear is very intense right now across the region as we look at this map here where we have those uh arrows of course the arrows are indicating the wind direction and then uh, as we head more to those oranges and reds that is stronger upper level winds and that usually helps to displace activity to the east and in terms of tropical cyclones it is a huge inhibitant factor because of course it prevents all that activity from being concentrated around the center of the system so we're definitely seeing that effect right here where we don't see uh where we just have all this activity making its way out but also all this activity is before a front that is in the region and so now let's return to the caribbean here and talk about the rainfall that the different models are expecting first we're starting out with the gfs and of course uh this is for the next 24 hours so up to tomorrow morning and if you're not familiar with this map the rainfall is measured in inches and there we have the different colors with the values beside them to, so that you know how much rainfall is expected for a particular area so uh, as we take a look at what the gfs is expecting throughout the region we can definitely see that some rainfall activity is definitely expected for uh trinidad tobago barbados going into the other sections of the windward isles not seeing a whole lot for the northern caribbean maybe just some pop-up showers at the most and of course all this rainfall activity is going to be a little bit more probable in the afternoon hours going over to the western caribbean not seeing a whole lot expected for the yucatan or belize but going over into guatemala El salvador parts of honduras and uh northwestern nicaragua are expected to receive some rainfall same story as we head down to costa rica and panama 
But going back around to the ABC Islands, not seen where much activity is expected. And so moving on to the year, or year is actually showing a little bit more in fall activity compared to the GFS. So uh, showing some higher totals up to over an inch of rainfall for Trinidad and Tobago, also for some sections of the Grenadines. But overall, all these surrounding areas in the Eastern Caribbean are likely to receive quite a bit of rainfall activity as we had throughout today. But going further north, we see this activity uh, decreasing, these totals decreasing. Recent. And then uh, same story for the Northern Caribbean, not much rainfall activity, but definitely seen where some is expected over parts of Central America. And then the ICON model is somewhat in agreement with this, definitely showing all that rainfall activity within the region is going to be taking place in the southeast and also going out to Trinidad and Tobago. Other areas can expect some very brief showers but of course if we go back to the satellite map here we can see that uh, there is quite some activity still within the region so that is what is going to be helping to induce all of that expected rainfall and so guys of course in the event of heavy rainfall please do not take any unnecessary risks, take the necessary precautions because of course uh, flash flooding is always possible especially in those low-lying areas and so that is what is going on guys and that is what is expected so uh, I hope that you found this video to be quite informative however if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can and of course remember to always be weather wise.